beautiful, beautiful people. So I'm not going to pick a scripture. I'm just going to um, talk to you guys a little bit here. Chosen ones. So I have a question for you. It's about music, right? Okay. And I want you to leave in the comments what your thoughts are. So me and my son got in a conversation in the car and Eminem came on and he was talking about how, do you know when he started off, first started off, he wasn't really necessarily really respected in the hip hop world. And people were like, okay, well, Caucasians can't really rap. Um, even though they can, they can. Okay. It's just a, um, it's a deeply rooted conversation. Okay. And I know this sparks a lot of flames <laughs> when talked about in the industry amongst certain people. I don't want to say everybody, but amongst certain people. Um, and I know that partially when I was doing my thing and rapping, people, I guess, thought I was white or because I had the complexion I have, you know, um, they weren't necessarily as receptive, more or less, they were, you know, just doing certain things that I don't know how to explain it, but <laughs> you know, it just kind of the, it brought the haters out. Basically. Let me just say that it brought the haters out. Okay. Um, because due to complexion of my skin. Okay. Um, of course I'm 65% Nigerian and then the rest I have like, um, new England in me, UK. I even have a little, I think it's Chinese or Vietnamese, one of the other Chinese or Vietnamese. I did like that whole DNA structure or whatever, but that's beside the point. It has something to do with the color of my skin and what it looks like. Of course, that goes all the way back to the roots of black is black, period. My father is black. Therefore, my blood is black. Therefore, they would consider me black legally. However, there are certain African-Americans that do not consider a mixed person African-American or black, or which is insane, which is crazy. It's all about, actually all stems from conquer and divide, which is what the enemy does and wants to do to us. Um, one, one thing I do want to encourage everyone, I want to encourage everyone to, let's not make it a color thing. Amen. Let's make it a God thing from now on, because Uh, the, the the conversation me and my son had was very, very, what I basically told him is this. I was very fortunate and honored and blessed to be able to meet the very first rappers ever. And when I met them, um, I had a whole conversation about, you know, about this conversation and about the, the way that the hip hop world went and, you know, how it was founded and the different things of that nature. Um, and those of you who know that are in the hip hop scene there, you already know that basically that when Malcolm X died, that's how they came about. Their group came about. Okay. Um, so the deep rooted conversation I had was basically when I saw them at concert, cause I had the privilege of seeing them and hearing them at concert. And it was amazing. It was very amazing. Um, they would have everybody, like literally everybody in the room was standing on their feet. It didn't matter if you were Chinese, white, purple, black, pink, it didn't matter. Okay. They were standing on their, their toes and they were going black power, black power. It was amazing. It was really awesome. Okay. Um, because I, I believe that everybody knew what that means and what that stands for, because here we have a race that has been, that has went through roots and roots and roots of trauma inflicted upon another race, which obviously was Caucasian, but there were other races involved as well. But I'm not even going to get into that. Let's just say Caucasian, inflicted upon uh, Caucasians, you know, um, being slowed, sold into slavery. I do want to add here, though, um, slavery actually began in Africa. Um, well, there were slaves in Africa. I don't know if you guys are aware of that or not. Um, there still are, from what I understand. I don't know what part, but I read a certain article, and I can't really cite it because I, I, I read it this, I know I read it this year. Can't really cite it, but there was somebody who was a certain people that were held captive or something. But it, and it's crazy because it was like African, Africans were actually enslaving their own people. It, like whatever, whatever, you know, whatever, whatever country it is. I'm not really going to talk too much about that because I don't know too much about it other than the articles I've read. So, and I don't want to get into that, but, um, 
I just I'm just getting into basically the fact that here we have a, a white culture, a Caucasian culture, and I'm both basically, you know, here we have a Caucasian um, culture, okay? And then we have the African American culture. Um, obviously, the African American culture is who brought music over here to the United States. If you didn't know that, now you know, okay? Um, when when I had the privilege of listening to the last poets, when I had the privilege of listening to them. Um, they had the drum, the drum beat, and they went into talking about how the drum beat, when slaves would want to release, you know, their thoughts and their oppression and their depression that slavery had caused when they came over here, they would play the drums and they would do their music. And what would happen is their arm, their hands would get cut off. That was a form, obviously, to control them, to mentally control them, you know. And so I was talking to my son about this, but I also was talking to him about um, I had to record a uh, uh, it was like a conference. OK, and it had all of the world renowned doctors, judges, like high profile people in this. Right. Um, the attorneys, the, I mean, these were like the the world renowned surgeons, you know, you, you name it, they were in there. They were very powerful people. And as I was going in and recording these individuals, I remember one of the, the African, I believe she was an African, if I'm not mistaken, um, women got up and she was talking about, uh, how she did not, you know, she was talking about basically how in America, um, there were certain, uh, traumas because of slavery due to slavery. There were certain traumas that were inflicted upon the African American race that the Caucasian race rarely sees in their bloodline is because of those traumas. And so it would, it, it literally uprooted through the DNA and through the, the root structures, which is a very interesting, very, I found very, very interesting. Um, and so, and she went on to talk about, um, you know, to try to get funding for it, you know, when people are either living in poverty or what have you is difficult. And so she, you know, that was her reasoning for talking about all of that. Okay. Just to possibly get some sort of funding for the people with these different ailments that actually deeply rooted came from this, this these diseases in certain you know, um, different elements that were messing up their, their mind mentally and messing up their, um, their physique, uh, their physical structure and, you know, their whole system, their whole system. Um, and these diseases that were inflicted upon due to the trauma that had been passed from generations to generations to generations, to generations, to generations. So she was just trying to get help basically is what she was trying to do. Okay. She's a very powerful woman, very, very powerful, world renowned woman. This woman was phenomenal. Okay. Um, but anyway, so as she talked, I, I didn't know none of this. So I was like, you know, I'm sitting there running the camera like, and just listening like, Oh my goodness, this really, I never knew. I never knew that, you know? Um, so I was telling my son about that. And I said, so hip hop is basically the same way. Rap is basically the same way. It's like you, here you have Caucasians, you have African Americans, and Caucasians have inflicted massive, massive pain. And throughout time, you know, um, with African Americans, throughout time, there's like this deeply, deeply rooted, and it's not just, it's not about a hatred thing. It's more about a, so you're going to take our health. You're going to take our, this, you're going to take our, this, you're going to take our, that you're going to take our, this plus you're going to take our music. I don't think so. You know? And so I think that that is why that, um, Caucasians will not, not think, I know that that is why Caucasians, um, you know, you, a lot of times you see a lot of, it, it appears to be hatred towards them. Okay. But what it is, is a deeply rooted seed. You know, and so I want to encourage us to get back to love and get back to God, basically, is what I want to encourage. And in the music industry, 
I really do think and feel like, as I was telling my son, you know how like at one point in time, Eminem had took the best rapper of all time. And I don't know if he still has that, holds that position. I, You know, you guys can Google it. I, that's not what I'm he on here for. I'm basically on here just to say this because I know he had it. He had it. And he had, he's a phenomenal rapper, right? Um, he's been through some things. He's earned his respect. He's earned his dues. But I came out here basically to say, talk about that and talk about, I think, honestly, that there should be. I know there's like a whole reparations um march going on and different things like that but at this time there should also be recognition where caucasians can hold that title but an african-american has to always hold that title as well that's my thoughts behind it leave in the comments below because i'm here's the thing this is what i told my son i said you could never be better than the originators that simple you know um so you're either about the same, you know, you're phenomenal like them, or you just can't be better because they made it up, you know? So that's my whole thought process. So I just, I'm just curious to know what are your thoughts behind it? If you have any thoughts behind it. <laughs> also, don't forget to um, smash that like, that hit that uh, notification bell, um, you know, and what are your thoughts behind this? Also, the, the route that um, hip hop took has taken too. you know, I did want to talk about that, too, because we have a lot of um, hurt souls, not just from and it's not just from hip hop and not just from rap. Like when I was actually when I was dating the Freemason that I was dating and he was in the industry he's doing you know he's producing things and different things of that nature and he was really into witchcraft and really into magic and all, doing all this other stuff and those of you who know me know that i've been delivered from doing cards reading cards people call that witchcraft or what is divination is what it is okay um but people people call it that but i got delivered from that okay but what i'm saying is he informed me of something that I had no clue. I was like, Pff. and you hear all of the conspiracy theories, but the man informed me, listen, he said, Shauna, you do know that they put spells over these mu this music. I was like, huh? He said, oh yeah. When I go pick up my music, when I go pick up my, um, all of my tracks, he said, all of them have spells and they literally cast them in the studios over this music. And it's, Certain music, it's not like everybody's music, you know what I mean? Um, it's certain music, but I, I think that like if you I'm sorry, I just I'm sorry. But if you have like um if you have children and especially well, watch what you're absorbing. Like literally watch what you're absorbing, watch what you're taking in, because they do. They cast spells inside of this music. And what better way than to just get get to the music? You know, um, to capture you, you know, and so I just wanted to come in on here and see if, you know, I could get you guys your thought, get your thought process behind this whole thing or this whole ordeal. It was phenomenal, phenomenal experience. Both of those experiences were very phenomenal. And I learned a lot in those situations, you know, um, and I thank God for that understanding. You know what I mean? Um. I, I, I just I just thank God for that understanding because a lot of times during our walk God will open certain knowledge to us that a lot of people don't understand and don't necessarily know like when I was over in Ohio Cincinnati Ohio before I actually came over here to California you know I was literally hearing different stories about you know the evil things that go on in the music industry and you know how to cast spells and you know, all of this stuff about just different organizations and, oh my goodness, the industry, you got to sell your soul and the elites and this kind of thing. And I didn't think it was real, but I, I want to tell you guys firsthand seeing it is real. I had, there was actually a Freemason, um, a, a, like a Freemason, I don't know what they would consider him, like a, like a, I don't know what they would consider him. I guess, the, um, I guess they have they they answer to their they call them gods okay they answer to their gods, but um, the the one Freemason not the guy that I was dating but along with him came another Freemason, and this guy was basically watching over him the guy that I was dating so he was sent to me to try to get me to sign okay, and so he wanted me to sign a contract, 
right? And I told him, I said, um, okay, I'll tell you what, I'm going to make my own contract up. Can I do that? He said, oh, sure, no problem. I said, okay. So um, he said, you can have anything you want, anything you want. You know, and I said, okay. Okay. But see, he didn't know that I was delivered. He didn't know that I had the Holy Spirit in me. He didn't know that, you know, that I knew I was pervy to this information. God had made me pervy to this information. So there was way, no way of entangling me with this. So I went home and I, I said, okay, I can have anything, you know? So I wrote down like a whole lot of things that I wanted, you know? And then like the, the, the large chunk of it was anyone who works with me or for me, I want their, their souls to be free. I want my soul to always be free. I mean, I was writing all, and I was like, and always go back to God. God is my provider and only my, like I wrote this in the contract, like literally signed it. And I had all of this other stuff that was in it that, you know, the amounts that I would make in different things like that. And, you know, as I'm progressing, it's crazy. Cause like my, I'll go like this, you know what I mean? Like my income will go up, then it'll go down. My income will go up, then it'll go down, you know, what I mean? you know, but at the same time, I know it has some sort of, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like the, the guy that came to me, he was just like, he looked over the contract and he was like, let me tell you something. You really make me appreciate what I do because it's people like you that actually, in reality, you, 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 um, you don't, you, you, you go back to humanity. And, 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 and I now have hope in humanity because of this. And so I left him like, like, you know, he was dumbfounded. Like I, I told her she can have anything she wanted, you know? Um, and I, I, you know, in that, I, like I said, I said, I want every soul that works for me or with me free. Anybody I'm, I'm around free, their soul must be free and go only to God and solely to God. Yeah. So, um, it's real. It's real. When people say it's not real, you you know you're um you're being blindsided if you think it's not real. Cause it's real. Cause I've seen like I've seen it um in action. Okay. Um and they even said, from what I understand in the Bible, I'll try to look it up and see if I can leave links to like the well not links, but the well yeah, I'll I'll see if I can leave links to the biblical um let me see if I, well, I'll, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to try to leave links below, see if I can. Um, but they said that the devil was literally created with um, instruments or he had some sort of ability with instruments and music, you know. And so um, when he's wanting to take souls, that's where it's coming from, you know. So it's just something that I wanted to present to you guys. Uh, food for thought, take it as you may, roll with it, don't roll with it, whatever. But no doubt, I love you. God loves you. Stay shining. Much love. Bye.